Hey everyone, Greg Meskel here. Welcome to a brand new counterattack brought to you by the Rudy Project and XX2i. Fantastic footage from Budapest, Hungary, and the Champions League final. We'll get to that momentarily. But first, the USA women are back in action in Kunshan, China at the Kunshan Cup. It's a preliminary tournament for the FINA World League Super Final coming up. Here's a look at the roster Team USA has sent to Kunshan. This will change a little bit as they look towards the FINA World League Super Final. Maggie Steffens, Rachel Fatal, not on this part of the trip. We'll get to the reason why momentarily. So far, so good for Team USA. They picked up a win over the Netherlands on day one and then a 16-6 victory over China on day two. We'll have you updated with full results and the Super Final roster next week right here on the counterattack. Of course, visit usawaterpolo.org for all the relevant information. From there, we go to two of the athletes who are competing, Mackenzie Fisher and Aria Fisher. You know their story from Rio 2016. They were profiled in American Athletes. Some screen grabs here from the program that aired on stations around the country. You can watch the full profile at facebook.com slash USAWP. Some great stuff here as the sisters explain their water polo journey, how they got into the game, and what it's like playing as sisters on the Olympic gold medal winning squad. And speaking of Olympians, we talked Tony Azevedo and the USA men as they are taking on Croatia in a four-game series. You know by now, June 11th, Tony's retirement game. Tickets are still available, and the hype is getting real for this one. The series starts June 9th in Riverside, then goes to Stanford for the Thank You Tony retirement game on June 11th. Head back down to SoCal June 13th at Oaks Christian in Westlake Village, California, and then we close things out the next night, June 14th at Long Beach State. In addition to the games, tickets are on sale now at usawaterpolo.org. Also, two great clinic opportunities. June 11th at Stanford, a chance to have a clinic with Tony Azevedo and attend the game. And then June 13th at Oaks Christian, USA head coach Dan Adovacic, members of Team USA, will run that clinic. So two great development opportunities. All the information, tickets, and clinics at usawaterpolo.org. And we go from there to the largest water polo tournament in the world. The countdown is getting closer. We are closing in on the 50-day mark until the 2017 Junior Olympics. Don't forget the call for stories continues as J.O. Qualls are taking place around the country. Want to know about your team, your athletes, your clubs headed to the JOs. Shoot us an email, media at usawaterpolo.org, and tell us your story. And when you're talking online about JOs, make sure you use the official hashtag 2017JOs. Before JOs comes about, Masters, the schedule out this week at usawaterpolo.org, the Masters National Championship, part of that big weekend in Riverside coming up next weekend. First, USA Croatia on the night of June 9th, also the Masters Social, which is an event all the Masters athletes look forward to. It's a good time to get together. And that leads off the weekend of Masters water polo medals in a variety of age groups awarded on Sunday, June 11th. We'll have full highlights right here on the counterattack after that event. So make sure you get over to usawaterpolo.org and check out the full schedule. Find out where your favorite Masters team is competing in Riverside. This past weekend in the world of ODP, it was the girls national team selection camp as the development cadet and youth squads were selected. Here are some group shots of the training groups via the USA Water Polo ODP Twitter account. And some video, Olympian Sammy Hill was on hand to instruct some of the goalkeeping candidates for Team USA. And then Kate Kammer put together this video summing up the experience of some at the national team selection camp. Full rosters now at usawaterpolo.org. A big congratulations to all the athletes selected for the different national teams. Keep in mind, travel rosters for actual competitions will be named at a later date. To find out who will be competing for Team USA, make sure you keep it right here with the counterattack and at usawaterpolo.org. And now we go back to where we started the show, the Champions League final in Budapest, Hungary. This is one of the most prestigious titles to win in all of water polo, and it was held in Budapest, Hungary. Great crowd, great environment. This is where the FINA World Championships will be held, and it came down to two powerful teams, VK Jugdubrovnik and Solnaki battling. It would be Solnaki taking this one in the championship, pulling away, actually winning by a healthy margin here 
to claim the final six crown. Awesome footage here via daily motion of this event in Hungary. Looking forward to more water polo at FINA Worlds there this summer. Coming up this weekend, the Catino Award will be announced for men's and women's water polo. Represents the top college water polo player to the equivalent of the Heisman for college football. The finalists, we told you earlier this month for the women, Maggie Steffens of Stanford, Rachel Fatale, UCLA, Ashley Johnson of Princeton, and then a crowded men's field, Blake Edwards, Emma Quinn Barron of USC, Garrett Danner, and Ryder Roberts of UCLA. Tough pick there. Also, no representative from the national champs of Cal. We'll have full results of the honors next week right here on the counterattack. We go high school championships now. First, the state of Washington, where, guess what? Gig Harbor has won it again. The girls of Gig Harbor take their fourth straight Washington championship. Here's some footage of the final moments of this one. Big crowd on hand to watch Gig Harbor take this. Alana Ponce, named MVP. Olivia Lott, top goalkeeper. Emily Van Zonneveld, top defensive player. And Coach Farah Kunkel, winning Coach of the Year honors. Congrats to Gig Harbor on their victory. Now to Utah, where they crown six state champions. First, in the 3A division. It's a sweep for Park City. 3A girls, Park City. 3A boys, Park City. To 4A girls, Kearns, one of the longtime powerhouses in this state. They take it in the girls 4A final. To the boys 4A final, Utah High School Water Polo sharing some final moments of this one as Murray takes the championship. Celebration there as the final buzzer sounds. Then we go 5A on the girls' side, Harriman taking the championship. And for the boys, it's Viewmont. Congratulations to all the Utah and Washington High School state champions. And now we turn to our social media send-off, the way we end every episode of The Counterattack, featuring the very best of what you've featured online. Use the hashtag Counterattack and get involved. We go back to the ODP National Team Selection Camp, where athletes finding out they have made Team USA. They are, of course, excited. You've got to share these things on social media, just like Cassie Walner did pumped about her ODP selection. Same goes for Marin Dempsey. Congrats to those two. It's more than just about the athletes. Referees learning too. Jim Cullingham sharing some referee development from over the weekend. And how about coaches collaborating? This is from the USA Water Polo ODP Twitter account. Getting together, exchanging ideas, bringing it back to their teams around the country. So many benefits to this past weekend. Stanford Women's Water Polo and CAA Champs. Yes, Women's basketball, they have a pretty good history too and in getting into the pool to learn some water polo, get a chance to work out part of their off-season conditioning, getting ready for Pac-12 play come this upcoming season. Coach Krikorian, well, he saw the Stevenson squad in Indianapolis and then, I don't know, you make the connection, then they go and win a state title. He posts this photo as a reminder, a shout-out, and a congrats to winning their state championship. Big news out of Georgia, the first USA water polo youth tournament was held in the state bringing teams from Georgia, North Carolina, and Florida together. Thanks to Stu Sheldon for sharing this. Now we go Flop Friday, Jordan Aquatics. Nice commitment here just about all the way around. Well done. Take a look. Now we go to Jenna from Suffield Academy, and this is definitely not a Flop Friday video, despite having the Flop Friday hashtag. The comments were turned off. This was the only way to let Jenna know this is not the Flop Friday style. You got a belly flop. After that, back to the national team selection camp once more. They're not going to top the holiday camp record where there was over 100 floppers, but how about 74 flops all happening at once? This is like watching one of those long Domino's videos. This is from the USA Water Polo ODP Twitter account. Loving the commitment here. Got to watch out, though. When there's this many people flopping, got to have coordination on your landing spot. If everyone's lined up together, you can't all jump into the same spot. Nice job here by our ODP athletes making sure no one collided on their flops. And then, hands down, best flop Friday of the week. Major props to Carlsbad High School Water Polo with the underwater angle. And there you have it. That's the best of what we saw on social media this week. Don't forget to stay involved. Use the hashtag counterattack and we'll share your stuff right here next week on the show. That'll do it for this week's episode. Thanks so much for joining us. And don't forget when you're on the counterattack, look weak side.